Lindsay May, if you didn't know that already. Um, good morning. It is currently 9 a.m. right now. <laughs> Had to think about that one for a second. Um, it's currently 9 a.m. They have already started the race. They've been doing it for about 15-ish minutes now. I'm 122 today, so I probably won't be running until like 1.30-ish. Um, I feel like I have a sneeze. Okay. <laughs> Um, if you didn't know this already, I'm allergic to hay and horses, and I'm having a literal hay day right now with my allergies. Um, I didn't pack allergy medicine, because my allergies really haven't been that bad this year, but for some reason, I call it the Moses Lake curse. Whenever I come to Mo Moses Lake, my allergies are always ten times worse than usual. I should remember that and brought my allergy medicine, but... Anyway, my grandma will be here in a little bit, so she'll bring me some, but, um, yeah, um, before I went to go and, before I go and, uh, do Royal's morning walk, I already fed him already and cleaned out his stall. Um, uh, before I do that, I just thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a tour of my, uh, campsite real quick. Um, it's small, but I just wanted to show you guys that, um, you really don't need a big, huge living quarters and trailer to, like, go to rodeos. You don't. You could have a Suburban, a little one-horse bumper pole, and a tent. Um, it's just depending on how much you really want to do this. So I'm just going to show you guys my campsite really quick. So over here we have our fantastic little tent that is surrounded by multiple huge trailers which is fun um yeah she's a nice little tent um it's my grandpa's army tent so it's like pretty heavy duty and i really love it i don't know i've been camping in this thing for a really long time like my entire life and it's older than me <laughs> but i love this tent and we have our beautiful dining table here complete with stove set cooler my grandpa's book a box of tissues, broken sunglasses, brush, and a water jug. Um, you know, we got our chairs here. We have my llama chair, of course. Um, goldfish. And of course, we have the Suburban, which is basically our, like, kitchen. And, like, kitchen and dressing room. And, of course, we have our coolers over here. Ta-da! Complete with Dr. Pepper and Peach Snapple, because that's what I live off of. But yeah, that's our little campsite. We usually always travel like this, and if we aren't staying in this, we're staying in the hotel. Yeah, so I'm going to go take Royal on a walk now, and yeah, I'm going to do that. Alright, so we just got finished with our walk. Um, my grandma did come, so Ariel was walking with me and Royal. Um, so I did put on his... Uh, magnetic sheet and his back on tracks um, he is oh let me fix my earring Ooh. Um, he is a little bit swollen in his back legs hi just a little bit just from being stalled um, so I did hose him off and went on a little bit of a longer walk and they have gone down quite a bit and most of the heat's gone from it too so I'll probably walk, I usually don't do this, I usually like to leave him alone until I run, but I'm probably going to walk him a few more times before I run, just to make sure he doesn't get um, any more swollen, so yeah, so I'm going to go hang out with some of my friends and let him eat a little bit more and just kind of chillax for a little bit before I walk him again, and I'll see you guys when I tack up. Mama said. Fulfill the prophecy, be something greater Go make a legacy, manifest destiny Back in the days we wanted everything Wanted everything Mama said Burn your biographies, rewrite your history Light up your wildest dreams, museum victories Every day we wanted everything Wanted everything Mama said Don't give up It's a little complicated All tied up
Seven. All right, so um, I went ahead and changed clothes, um, washed oil off, cooled them out, and all, <laughs> and all that stuff. Um, so I just thought I'd give myself a little run review. Um, I am not happy with my run today, but I mean, what you gonna do? Um, we did, stop trying to eat my phone. Um, we did kind of like a, uh, stop trying to eat, okay, dude, okay, we did kind of like a, uh, we raided way too soon for the third, and, um, dude, go away, go, go eat, <laughs> he's trying to eat my phone, constantly, you're not starving, go away, um, and that was completely my fault. I stopped riding. I did not ride very well today, and that's totally my fault. Um, I'm going to try way better tomorrow. Today, I think I landed in the 4D, which I haven't been in the 4D in a long time. So I'm pretty discouraged about today's run, but I am happy because I don't have to eat a taco. Um, Jessica Gilbert and I made a bet that if I knocked a barrel, I'd have to eat a taco and video it. And I hate tacos, so I'm happy that I did not- stop, dude! I'm really happy that I did not knock a barrel, because then I would have had to eat a taco. I don't want to eat a taco. Royal? <laughs> so, yeah, um, I'm gonna let him rest here a little bit then I'm going to um, feed him dinner give him his grain take him on another walk and whatnot so I'm gonna go hang out with some friends and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right Mr. Royal is all ready for bed he's got his water buckets well now I'm gonna have to fill it up because as soon as I put it down he drank out of it so I have to fill that up again before I eat dinner which will be fun, but um, he's all ready for bed. He's got his mane braided, he's got his fly spray on, he's got his royally stitched tail bag. I do make these, um, so if you want, you can go check them out. Uh, well, check me out on Instagram. It's royally stitched, royally, hence this lovely man right here. Um, I also have drawn out um, on all his legs. Um, since yesterday he got a little bit swollen, so tonight he's just going to have the, uh, draw it out on all his legs just to try to prevent it from swelling. I already cleaned out his stall, most of it. So I'm going to go dump this, fill up his water bucket again, and then finally eat dinner. And then I think I'm going to have, I'm going to cut it off here. Alright guys, um, before I sign off here, um, I want to talk about a little bit of something. First of all, this is Ariel. She's got a really cute bandana on. She's going to be sitting in my lap. Um, anyway, um, I want to talk to you guys about gratitude. Um, now gratitude is something we often take, um, not take for granted, um, we often don't do, or like we don't really know how powerful it is I guess um, I think we as teenagers often forget to thank our parents grandparents whoever is taking care of us just thank them you know and thanking the cashier thanking um, your waitress thanking someone who will hold the door open for you someone think just going up to your parents and just saying hey Thank you for everything you do for me. I really appreciate it. I think we don't really realize how powerful thank you is, gratitude is. Now, you don't have to say thank you, you know, for everything. You know, not, not for everything. I'm just like, you don't have to say thank you and make some big speech every day. Sometimes, like what I like to do for my grandparents sometimes is... Uh, I'll leave a note, you know, like I'll just, um, before I go to bed, if I forget to say thank you for like a bell race or something, cause it's really, t you know, I'm really tired or something, I'll write a note just saying, hey, um, thank you for the bell race and whatnot, and then I'll tape it on the mirror so they can see it. Hey, Nanners. Yeah. Could you come around really quick? 
Um, so I'm talking about gratitude right now. You can come over here. Come over here. So I'm talking about gratitude right now. And I just want to ask you, as my grandma, you know, and taking me to barrel races and paying for barrel races, how appreciated do you feel when I say thank you? Like when I tell you, I say thank you for taking the time out of your weekend to taking me to this. I really appreciate it. When you do that and when you tell me um, that you appreciate and that you are aware of the time that we spent for you, it makes me want to continue doing so. It gives me um, a happy heart to know that you are aware of what it is entailed costing, yeah. and not just financial costing. But I meant like emotional and yes. whatever yeah. costs. Yeah. This is my grandma, by the way. I call her Nanners. And my dog likes her better than me. <laughs> Not really, but she does like me too. Um, I, I was just saying how like powerful a thank you can mean. Yes, definitely. And when a thank you is not said, expressed, um, not you only feel just taken the for words, granted. Definitely, definitely. But not only um, in the words that are used, but in the way Mackenzie will treat myself and her grandpa in um, respect and wanting to make us happy is another way that she often expresses her thanks. In like notes or just being happy or whatever. Yes. Making good choices in her life. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to sign off. You, you're going to go make dinner. Bye. <laughs> um, as crazy as you are. As crazy. <laughs> um, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Uh, click the like button. Really, I really appreciate that. <laughs> um, and comment down below if you like the video. Uh, thank you again for watching. And remember, live like royalty.